I'm excited for this one. These guys are really good. Turns out, these guys are really good at StarCraft. And to prove it to you, we'll watch this best of three. Spotting in the lower left-hand corner of Alcyone, we have Navi's Spirit. A red Terran player. One of the strongest Terrans in Europe, and he's up against one of the strongest Zergs in Europe. For the Shopify Rebellion, it is a Lambo. He's ready to lambast his opponent and break his spirit. Can he do it? Can he overcome the soul of his opponent? Your soul is mine. Man, I watched Mortal Kombat Annihilation recently, maybe a couple weeks ago. Ah, oh, that movie was so good. Such a good film. I don't know if you guys have watched that recently, but Mortal Kombat Annihilation, one thing it does that I really appreciate is it doesn't... It, it didn't seem to waste any time with the fight scenes. It was just like... Ah, oh, it's just fighting. Straight up. They didn't, they didn't waste any time. There's no like trying to explain the rules. Like the first one, really good. The first Mortal Kombat, 1995. Very good, very entertaining. But there's a lot of time spent like setting up the plot, you know? The second one, just fights. They're just fighting. What's the plot? Fighting. Hey, dudes attacking, those are bad guys. Good guys are gonna fight them. That's it. We don't, they don't even like tell us who these characters are. They just show up. Oh, it's so good. And then you have such great, great lines and great line deliveries. Like, some of the most memorable line de deliveries in the world. Too bad you will die. Oh, oh, so good. The terrible CGI on, like, the animal fighting parts, the animality thing. You know, it doesn't take up as much time as I remembered it taking up. The animality stuff. I thought it was a much bigger deal, and I thought the final fight was, like, 15 minutes of that bad CGI. No, they only transform for, like, five minutes. Not even. It's like it's like two, three minutes they transform. They have a bad CGI fight, and they both turn back into humans. And they fight as humans. It's, it's so good. Highly recommend Mortal Kombat Annihilation. With the caveat that I watched it that night, um, because I got way too stoned more than I had expected to be and I needed to watch a movie that my brain didn't need to process I didn't need to think about and Mortal Kombat Annihilation was perfect it's pretty vague in my memory though so I, I could be a little wrong about some of this but highly recommend excellent film um now just to Focus on this game a little bit, I guess. Uh, this is a round of eight match. The winner of this will face the winner of Clem versus Harstum. But they got to get past each other first. This is a tough one like to, to call. I feel like Lambo and Spirit are very evenly matched. So I'm expecting a good, a good series here. Both players have a penchant for macroing. But uh, not averse to some powerful attacks as well. It looks like Spirit's just going to open up. The pretty standard Hellion opener here. Going for a Raven as well. It's an interesting choice. Might help him clear some of that creep up. Could do some auto turret harass. I feel like Ravens aren't super common against Zerg, but as I say that, Spirit starts up a second one. Maybe I've been missing something. Oh, also, just to bring it back to Mortal Kombat temporarily, I really appreciate that New Line Cinemas, which doesn't exist anymore, RIP, they put out some of the best movies. And over their their logo, they would let the, the like theme music play. So when I see the New Line Cinemas logo, even though they produce such films as Lord of the Rings and Rush Hour, which both have some fantastic music to them, I always think of the Mortal Kombat theme song, which is, I'm gonna say it, I think 
the best theme song in any movie. I think they did it. Maybe I'm wrong. There's some good ones out there. Don't get me wrong. Listen, John Williams, love the man. But the Mortal Kombat theme. I mean, still to this day, nothing gets me more hyped than that song. Oh, oh, I'm just thinking about it. I'm getting stoked. So good. Now that auto turret harass got three kills. Uh, six, seven drones going down in total. Though. I guess these Hellions must have gotten some as well. The Raven only has three, unless there's the other Raven over here too. Oh yeah, hold on. This Raven also has three. Okay, and then the Hellions just got the one. So the double Raven auto turret harass there doing some good damage. But now the, the real aggression comes out here from Spirit. And so far, Lambo just playing defensively, as you expect to see. He's got the double Evo coming up. Does feel a bit late on the double Evo. 1-1 one, one already about halfway, over halfway done even for Spirit. Um, but that's because Lambo is heading into a quicker lair, getting into the Spire. He also has Bane speed on the way. So he's getting into the Ling Bane. And focusing on tech before getting those upgrades. It's always a tough decision for the Zerg. Where do you head first? Do you want to just try to get Lings and Queens to defend with 1-1 one, one quicker? Or try to get into Banelings and a Lair sooner? Spire is nearly done, but right now Lambo has to focus on the defense. In this fourth base, maybe in a little bit of trouble. Some creep getting cleared at the front. Three drones going down. The Raven wants to come back in, drops another auto turret. But it looks like the Raven will fall. The auto turret not going to focus on any drones. But these two are going to be in here getting some damage done. Killing some lings mostly, but a few drones are going down. Five in total. Spirit, he's going to break down these rocks. He wants to keep the pressure on this fourth base, it looks like. Lambo taking the fifth to the north side, and I mean, I wouldn't hate if this aggression gets a little too much. I feel like Lambo could just evacuate the fourth and move everything over to his, his fifth base up there. Spirit's pushing forward. He's got some Hellbats with this, some Widow Mines with this. Lambo needs to get some Banelings out. He's got a few, but he's got 12 Mutas on the way. And Spirit's hitting at a, maybe a perfect time to try to punish Lambo for building these 12 Mutas. As some of them start popping, but they're not really going to be here for the defense. Lings and Mains diving forward. Some Widow Mines going off, but not getting great connections. Oh, good split from Lambo, but a good pickup of that mine from Spirit. Micro going crazy on both sides here. The Lings of Mains want to dive in. Spirit, I think, just got a glimpse of the Mutas. He's going to scan forward, seize the Mutas. The Queen's holding down the fort with some transfuses for a while here. While the Lings and Banes wait patiently in the back. Lings trying to again to for force these Widow Mines to fire, but it's just not quite working. Good splits there. Doesn't take any big Widow Mine shots. And now the Banelings shoving these Marines back. The Marines can't pick up in the Metavacs because the Mutas will kill them, so they just have to keep running backwards. Widow Mines have all fired, but there's no detection right now for Lambo. Okay, there's the Overseer to uh, clean this up. The Creep Spread has been pushed very far back here, and Spirit's going to keep the pressure on this side, but he's got some Marines running kind of the wrong direction. I think they've just been sent around the top side. They might be a little vulnerable as Lambo's going to dive in once again. The Widow Mines not getting great hits there. The Banelings Trying to get on top of the Marines. Up they get lifted. That's going to make them vulnerable to the Mutas. They got to be careful. Woo. Big Widow Mine connection, but kills a full Metavac. I think that's worth it. There's a Thor here as well. Lambo, Lambo, Lambo. Oh my god. The Mutas diving in first. A lot of them taking hits. But the Lings and Veins going to follow it up. Beautiful Widow Mine hit there at the very end. Spirit saves the Thor. He needs to get some repair on that. He's trying to take a fourth base during all this. It looks like he will be successful with that fourth base. Lambo lost a lot of Mutas in that fight. He's lost nine this game, and I think probably six of them were in that fight. Good, Good split there. Lambo trying to clean up these Widow Mines. No, give them detection. Widow Mines being as annoying as possible. 
But Lambo has stopped this aggression for now. Both players are about at the same income, though. It's not generally good for the Zerg. He's also, he's got his 2-2 on the way, where his 2-2 is finished for Spirit. And I think he was waiting for that. He starts up 3-3, and he's going to keep on pushing. Actually, he needs to remember armor. An important upgrade to remember. He's got a little Widowmine drop on the left side. He's going to spot that this base is being attempted here by the Zerg. Accidentally puts two sensor towers down next to each other. You know, it happens to the best of us. Yeah, Widowmine's not really going to get too much done, it seems. Gets a couple of kills. Lambo gonna dive in. Lambo has 20 mutas in the sky. I don't think Spirit was expecting quite this many mutas. The Thor gets lifted up again. The mutas trying to chase it, trying to magic box it. Oh, they're taking a lot of damage to that Thor, but down it goes as the Lings and Banes spill through. Lings and Banes will go down, but Lambo taking a nice supply lead off the back of that, now keeping the Terran back. That's very good for the Zerg. It's going to allow him to spread this creep. It's going to allow him to take extra bases and uh, just keep that economy going. But, of course, Spirit's on four bases. He is cruising on the economy right now. But he's starting to mine out a little bit. The third's getting mined out. The natural is getting close to, to being mined out on some of those patches. The main base, of course, only has four patches left. And now the mutas are going to threaten into the main. There's three, four turrets here in the main base. Um, but... 24 plus one mutas might just not care. Say like they're gonna they're gonna care. They're gonna avoid it and dive in on top of this production. It's gonna make them a little bit vulnerable here. A few mutas will fall. Good repair on that turret. And yeah, it's a bit painful for Lambo. But at the same time, it was all distraction to get him to evacuate this fourth base, which is being taken down now. And oh my God, every single SCV getting killed, 22 of them. This planetary is gonna be defended by the Marine reinforcements, but these mutants are still running around. Oh my God, they've run into a Thor. Oh my God, they're trapped. Ah! Get him out of there. Oh, he escapes with 14 of them. I think there were about 20 in that clump, or 22 or so earlier on. There are still 22 mutas in the sky, though, as they'll group up with the rest of their friends over here. But Spirit is also grouping his army up. He's trying to push on this front. Lambo says, okay, how about a counterattack? And Spirit, his door is open. He's going to burrow the mines. They don't get much done. This is a beautifully placed bunker, but the natural is in some trouble. Spirit, he's going to send some of his units forward, bring some of them back as the mutas are back here as well, and the natural is getting absolutely demolished. The main base is potentially gonna be in some trouble while Spirit's killing a sixth and a fifth. Lambo has another base to send some of these drones to. He's just evacuating these fringe bases while doing critical damage potentially into Spirit's base. If he can get on top of some of this production, this could be a problem. Spirit though is here with a lot of bio, should be able to clean this up or at least push this back. The main CC, I think, is going to get killed. Lambo's got to get out of here with the mutas after that. Oh, look at this pathing. 26 SCVs dying, though. Spear down to 42 workers. Ooh, the Thor. The Thor and some snipes going to help out here. The Lambo still escapes, and now the Lings and Banes at the fifth. And with that, Spear just taps out. He can't keep up. He has a huge army. But every time he moves out, he's getting counterattacked and killed. And that is the power of the Ling Bane Muta that Lambo had. And he used it perfectly there in that game. GG, man. I mean, Spirit's army was bigger at the end of the game. He had more army supply. He just couldn't he couldn't do anything with it. Every time he tried to take a fight, he would, like, kill some Lings. Maybe a couple Mutas. And it just wasn't enough. Even killing those two bases... Didn't feel like enough. I hope we all go watch Mortal Kombat. Honestly, just watch both 1 and 2.
make it a make it a thing. Mortal Kombat one and two, watch them. They're so good. I would love to own those on VHS. I need to. I need, first I need to test my VCR and see if it works. I should get a crappy VHS tape. Wonder if that's something I could find. Just like a a movie I don't care about, so I can test this VCR and see if it works without eating the tape. That would be nice. I gotta figure out how to make it work though, because the DVD player was working, but I have this whole convoluted setup now with it. And it was uh, not working last time I tested it. I couldn't get it to show up on the screen, so hopefully I can figure that out at some point. It's neither here nor there, um, as we're about to get into game number two. On Solaris, and spawning in the upper right-hand corner, we have Natus Vincere's Spirit. And he's going to be up against Shopify Rebellion's Lambo. That was a very solid game, number one. Spear putting on some good pressure there early on at that fourth base, but Lambo deflecting it long enough to get out a big group of mutas, and that's the scary thing for the Terran, right? Is trying to deal with that many mutas flying around. It can be very, very difficult. Lambo did a great job just avoiding the army, avoiding taking fights as much as possible, uh, getting into his opponent's base, Keeping that army back, just keeping Spirit off of his back. And at some point, as the Terran, it's like, well, do I try to base trade this? <laughs> it's tough. It can be very tough to play against a mass Muta player if they're able to get those Mutas out and utilize them with the Lings and Banes. I mean, it's just beautifully done by Lambo. This game, though, Lambo trying something a little cheeky. He's got some Lings heading across the map. His Roach Horn is done. And start up a couple of Roaches. Lings are going to get in here and should be able to delay this command center. Oh my god, the Lings are going to be able to get in. There's no wall. The wall. The Marine. Oh, it goes down. SCV on the low ground. Either got killed or got pulled off of the, uh, the build. And during all this... The roaches are coming out. Fortunately, Spirit was paying attention to that Reaper. Saw the roaches. He's going to put down a bunker. But can he finish his command center before the roaches get here? I think the answer is yes. And it's drones coming out behind this. So Lambo's not all in. But he is pretty committed to this. He needs to get some damage done. Command Center will finish in time. Fortunately for Spirit. Now the bunker is done, but there's some Ravagers with this. At least one Ravager. A second one is morphing. He's just going to poke at this Supply Depot. Cyclone is out. That's going to help quite a bit on the defense. Roach gets pulled back, but it will fall. Of course, some Biles could go down on the bunker. He's just going to try to take out the other Supply Depot. Being as, trying to be as annoying as possible here. I'd love to see the Biles go down on this side of the depot because the Cyclone's microing through there right now. It could be annoying. He does hit the bunker, takes down the depot, and it looks like Lambo's just going to try to get out of here. Doesn't want to overstay his welcome. Second Cyclone is out. There's a Banshee on the way. Lambo doesn't want to lose all these roaches. So Spirit deflects the Roaches, got that Banshee out, or will have that Banshee out soon, has Cloak on the way. I feel like he could get some good counter damage with this. He's just 
dropping a third CC, and I like that move a lot. Because he knows Lambo's just going to be droning up for a while. As I say that, Lambo's got four more roaches on the way. Is Lambo going to go all in off the back of this and try to punish that third CC? He doesn't know what's coming, but he might know Spirit well enough to know that that's the kind of thing he would do. His link speed's almost done. It's feeling like Lambo's about to just try to rush into Spirit. The Banshee's here for Spirit could be huge if that's what happens. I don't know, maybe Lambo's just worried about the counterattack. Maybe that's why he's building units. I don't know, this looks like an attack to me. No more drones coming out, 16 more lings on the way. More roaches being made, more ravagers being morphed. Spirit's gotta play very defensively. If these Banshees stay at home, he could be in a good spot. He's got a siege tank, a bunker, he's got some cyclones. The Banshees start moving out across the map though. I was like, the worst possible time. And Lambo, because he went around the side, the Banshees are going to avoid this. Hold on. They haven't gone yet. Oh, they're going to be halfway across the map as this hits, though. And I just don't think Spirit was ready for this. And now the tank goes down immediately. The bunker getting jumped on. It's getting healed up. Can it stay alive? For a little bit anyways. A lot of SCV is going to start to go down. But the bunker is living. Oh, it finally falls. Spirit losing all of these SCVs down on the low ground. The Banshees come back in. They're going to be able to clean this up. Good focus fire from Spirit. They'll clean up the Ravagers. Or, yeah, good focus fire from Spirit. But Lambo's getting in with the Lings. There's nothing to stop these Lings right now. The Banshees can't do it. And, oh, the SCVs are just getting clobbered. A fourth command center finishes for Spirit. But he just has nothing left. He wasn't ready for the attack. He didn't have a wall, and GG gets called. Lambo will take the 2-0 victory over Spirit. Damn.